What's up guys, Sota here, brings you a brand new video on the channel, so we're back with another episode of our Bedrock series. I know they're on and off here and there, but don't worry, it's gonna keep going, I just didn't have this episode recorded by the time I needed to upload it. But we're still gonna keep this active, I'm still playing on it as much as I can, but we're here in our double mob spawner. So you see I have done some work, cleared a lot of this place out. So this is our zombie spawner here. It's already fully set up and operational, except that we gotta do the wall so it can be uh, fully like functional. So like, yeah, it still works if I'm in the radius, but it doesn't spawn them. So, so yeah, so this is skeleton right here. Zombie, we're gonna fix everything up. Probably work on it a little bit this episode. Um, Cause I actually have another plan of possibly working on a blaze farm starting a blaze farm this episode maybe into next episode i'll probably save it to next episode so it's not too much of a big video but yeah if you can see we have this big is a light blue concrete so basically this signifies the actual range of the spawner so if i'm up against it or on it the zombies will start spawning if i'm off of it nothing will spawn so anywhere within this blue circle the zombies could spawn and anywhere within this one uh, skeletons was one so that way like or right, if I'm on AFK I just AFK anywhere on the wood on both sides and they'll spawn sadly we can't AFK in either one like together at the same time for both because they are a perfect distance apart from each other but yeah no um, let me show you guys from here so what I've been working on I worked on yesterday off camera basically just clearing all this out because it was still part of the mountain clearing everything out emptying it out torching it up I'm putting on the wood. This took like at least four or five stacks of wood each. And then, yeah. So, we're gonna have this whole ring of stone slabs. Oh, that really? He spawned there? Oh, wait. Let me kill him before he actually falls into the spawner because I've had. It'll, it'll just. It'll just mess everything up. And. There you go. Uh, so, yeah. This. This. I only have this going across like this. Cause that's how that wall is like I want to make it kind of symmetrical don't want to make it off we are gonna move this portal right here where this is like right in the middle of the room so I'm planning making this whole middle section of the floor like quartz maybe smooth quartz I'm not sure so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go mine out a bunch of quartz do that transform this into quartz we're gonna leave the blue line there so all this is gonna be quartz um, we're gonna move the portal towards the middle, which means we're gonna have to adjust it in the nether too, like the way it is. I'm, I don't have any plans of anything down here of what to do. Might just close this off or just leave this, um, so it doesn't look that bad. Um, but I'm thinking, so portal's gonna be there. We're gonna have an entrance that goes down into the mountain, kind of, and out into like a small little house that I'm gonna build. And I'm gonna basically have all the the storage system for both of these going into one big storage like big like um chest room that way everything could gather together in one spot instead of being all spread out between like multiple chests in different areas so that's the plan so i am going to build up the walls um so this is the border for the bottom wall so what we're going to do is i think i'm going to putting glass up like three two and yeah like three blocks and then at this top layer all the top layer starting here is gonna be all glass on top with a with of course another ring of damn it another ring of stone brick on the very top of the glass so that's what we're gonna do i have a lot of ideas of how to mess with this make this look kind of nice because i don't want to just make this and close myself off because there is a little village over there so that's why I want to make that house with the storage system and then come out and go to the village. Probably brighten this area up and stuff. But yeah, that's that's the plan for this spawner. Um, all these walls, I'm probably going to make them into stone brick. Like carve this out one more in, cover it with stone brick all the way around. Um, don't really have any ideas of any designs. Maybe some dark oak on the pillars like this. Other than that, it's pretty simple what I want to do. Why don't I hear... The water sounds weird. It's probably the um, uh, probably the water, uh, the bubble column that we got set up for these spawners. But yeah, let's head back to the base and let me go get 
the glass. I have some glass. I'm still gonna have to go back and get more glass in the future. Probably off camera and stuff, but it's gonna be a pretty big project. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. I'm gonna be doing them kind of like partial let's play and partial speed speed builds, like majority of the building parts of these videos are gonna be like sped up. Just to go like cut time uh, in the video so we don't have to stay here for too long. So I feel, I feel like that's the best option. Um, let's see, stone should be right here. You get one, two, three, four more stacks of stone brick. I think we should be fine. Let's get, I actually don't have any more dark oak. I literally used it all. Literally all I have left is these 61 logs. But let me show you guys one quick update. So I switched. So we got spruce trees, uh, three by three here and dark oak. So basically chop them down, rebuild them. The same thing here gives us a lot. And then do like a little oak and birch. I'm not gonna show you guys what's behind this. That's gonna be a later video. It's kind of like a slight villager stuff that we did there. You can see we moved on and another little nether wart farm here. So yeah, let's see what else. That's pretty much most of the updates that's happened recently. I am gonna I am gonna eventually move this nether portal from this position. It's, it's not a bad spot, but I'm gonna take it out of the big chest. I'll probably when we start building, which hopefully soon start building that clock tower, we are gonna put actually wait, we need to get quartz. That just reminded me. We're gonna put the nether portal in the in the clock tower. But yeah. So I did manage to get this pickaxe maxed out for the most part except efficiency 4 not 5. Fortune 3 on breaking 3 efficiency 4 with mending. So we actually bought one of the mending books from our villager. Let's. So I'll just speed up this time. But I'm going to go around and collect as much quartz as possible. I do have a lot, or, oh God, a lot already back at the base. But I think I'm going to save that for like um, future like what's it called. Um, redstone stuff I might use it because quartz is definite but yeah I'm just gonna speed up this whole time of me collecting a bunch of quartz and I'll come back to you guys when all that is done
All right, guys, and we're back. We just finished getting a bunch of quartz. I wanted to make sure I got an e at least an even, st even number, not even number stacks, but at least enough so that I could make full blocks. Like I didn't want to have like three extra or two extra like that, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks. Like I said, I could. The heck, why this one? I could have gotten a bit more, but. Um, that was literally everything in the like general area and I went back to get the stone cutter back on the base um, just so I could do this oh wait hold on. Hold on. I think you just need a regular crafting table I kind of and I have two right here right move this over here so yeah like I said everything's gonna move everything's gonna get fixed around we'll probably have um, a chanting area here for the spawner Let's see, where is it? Quartz blocks. Block of quartz. I'm not sure if I wanted to do um, smooth quartz. I know smooth quartz. I've never used smooth quartz, but you could make it from. Oh wow, that's it. Oh wow, look. Oh, I almost had two stacks. I forgot how much it actually uses. So how does quartz look like that? And smooth quartz? I've never used smooth quartz before. Oh god, it breaks so quick. Alright. Yeah, I've never actually used smooth quartz itself, so I wanna wonder how that looks. I'll probably use that for another project. For this, we're just gonna use regular quartz. We're just gonna fill in this half first, see how much we use. And after that, we'll um, figure out how much we're gonna need to complete this project. Because this is the halfway mark I'm pretty sure yeah it should be equally on both sides so if we don't do this we'll know how much we'll need um, like I said that we can know how much we use over here oh you could hear them going off the water stream and how much we're gonna need on that side so let me break this out real quick and put it back together to give you guys another small little like time lapse
All right, so we're, we're done building this. Putting this one together. This one's good. I just like the way they look with the glass on the front. Of course, it would look better if there was connected textures just like on PC, but it's fine. We don't need them. Uh, we didn't use that much glass. Well, not really. It was really just... What's it? 4, 12, 4, 3, 12, 10, 10, 48. Like, not even that much, actually. It's not bad. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to put in here. A bunch of XP. But like I said, now we don't have to worry about... Well, Right now, kind of, daytime's kind of making the spots from this side. Making it slower, bro. Once we put the roof on, we might not do the roof glass for that reason, because then they will still be inefficient. Probably should do glass around the walls. Yeah, probably the walls will be the only thing that have glass. Because if we do the ceiling, then it's going to mess with the spots when the sun gets from the... The light comes in through the window through window and stuff, I'll mess it up. I hear a spider. And it's annoying man. It's extremely there might be a cave somewhere on the I oh no, it's right there. Bane Bane of Antipod, so let's go. But yeah, this is the only real thing you'll see outside of the big mountain. But I'm glad I'm able to actually build all this out because I've been wanting to do this for a while, especially when I found it and I left it for a, while, a long time, bro. I'm gonna have to put the, the stairs under this, how I did with everything. So let me show you how this will look, basically from the outside. It looks a little weird from here because we're so low, but eventually there's gonna be like a little house probably here or with halfway into the mountain with all the chests of everything funneling in. Um, so yeah, so you can see all the stairs right there under. I'll make that all the way up on there Just to make, make it look like more like it's part of it basically but Yeah, it's a lot of stuff Impro Improving the spawners this, this is gonna take a while. So I have to go back out mine the rest of this um, A bunch like I, said, I have a bunch of things I have to do I'm gonna have to smelt out more stone for the stone brick a lot more. I'm gonna do the ceilings. I don't know if I'll do the ceiling stone brick. I don't want to put too much stone brick into this build because then it'll look weird. Um, else I might. Oh, I should probably do quartz slabs for the ceiling. That'll be that'll be cool. That'll be something different. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Do quartz quartz slabs all over the ceiling. And then the glass blocks going up and down this line. And then in here, I probably will. Uh, yeah, on the inner wall. Because this will take taken out. Yeah, these, these blocks right here are going to be. Let me just take them out now. I think it'll be these two also. Yeah, these two will also be taken out. Let me, like I said, let me just do this now. I know there's a lot of coal and stuff that I could take from here, but that's fine. So th these will be like that, like the stone brick and glass. But then once we get inside, we'll do like the little, like the wooden pattern. Since it is on the inside, I'll do a slightly different pattern. These inner walls, but they'll most likely all look the same. I feel like. This will be wood. We'll, we'll see. We'll see when I get there. I'll probably do a full separate speed build. Um, once I get all the materials, it's gonna be a lot of materials. Like I said, like I gotta farm out a bunch of dark oak for this project. Like using a bunch of wood. Like I have almost a whole double double chest full of uh, spruce for the expansion on the farm, which is gonna be in a whole later video. Um, so yeah, so. This is what I think episode 4 or 5 of Bedrock series, but it's also part 1 of the mob spawner, the double spawner uh, build. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. If you guys enjoyed these type of speed build and kind of let's play videos, make sure to put it in the comment section. Um, if you guys have any ideas of future videos, whether it's here or on PC Minecraft, I might do a hardcore series. I'm not sure I've been thinking about doing it for stream. I don't know, but if you like, I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna start, upload, I'm gonna upload videos every other day as much as I can if they're ready. 
But with that, hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.